Today I'm reviewing the Ember Pro, which is a network edge device that combines the functionalities of a router, a NAS and a Docker server. So that sounds pretty interesting. This product is relatively new on the market, so the company Latticework has reached out to me if I could do a review on this product and sent me this device here. But they didn't tell me what I should include in this video, so you will still get my own and honest opinion on this, guys. So let's take a look at the functionalities, what has this device to offer, and let's clarify the question whether you should buy it or not. Hey everyone, this is Christian and in this video let's review the Amber Pro device. So first of all, this channel is not a product review channel and it will never be. However, this product really caught my interest because I was searching for a NAS solution anyway where I'm still able to run some Docker containers at home like a Nextcloud or a Pi-hole server. So the fact that you can run Docker containers on this NAS device is pretty cool. Overall, it looks very clean and aesthetic, at least in my opinion. So it is a little black cube with a fan on top of the device that also has a cool blue ring LED. So I really like to put this on my desk and the whole look and feel of the material seems very valuable. The device comes with a built-in Wi-Fi router, an Intel dual-core processor, 2GB of memory, two hard disks and it can be easily managed by a smartphone app or via the web browser. The main interesting part here is really the Intel dual core processor which is a real x86 architecture and that probably is a bit pricier than an ARM based system but it also comes with some interesting benefits. For example if you want to run some Docker containers that are built for x86 architecture that don't run on an ARM based system you can definitely do this with this device and that's pretty cool. It comes in two different models the Ember 1 with 1TB or the Ember Plus with 2TB in a RAID 1 which is not too massive but definitely sufficient for most use cases like store some data at home, back up your mobile pictures or run some Docker containers on it. It also has an HDMI output if you want to do video casting to a TV with the Ember Live app. Overall the specs look pretty decent. The built Wi-Fi router supports 2.4 and 5 GHz and it comes with the latest Wi-Fi standard so you can basically just replace your existing ISP router with the Ember Pro because it has one one Ethernet port where you connect your modem or router and two 1 gigabit Ethernet ports to connect your PC, laptop or switch to connect multiple devices. So when you get this device you first need to set it up. So the whole process is very easy and straightforward and it's well described in the manual. So you first need to connect this device to your existing network and then just download the Ember Pro app and start setting up this device. Once the initial deployment has been done you can easily connect to this device via a browser and start configuring it. The router part and the NAS device in the Ember Pro are two different components so let's first take a look at the router part and what you can actually do with that. In the router web interface you can configure the network parts of the Amber Pro. Of course if you buy a device like this you usually want to use it to replace your existing router. So therefore it also supports PPPoE where you can set up your ISP credentials and use the Ember Pro to establish your internet connection. But you can also use it with a static IP or DHCP mode if your modem or router supports it. You can also deploy it in bridge mode and just use the Ember Pro as a pure NAS device or a Wi-Fi access point within your network. You can configure the Wi-Fi in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and you can also see it offers the latest wi-fi standards just like described in the hardware specs it is a dual band dual connect with 4x4 mimo support so that can be definitely an upgrade from your isp routers which usually don't offer mimo support or even sometimes don't come with a 5 gigahertz standards or higher speeds so the amber pro really looks pretty solid as a wi-fi router so i didn't do any speed tests or something like this but i tested the wi-fi access point in 2.4 in 5 gigahertz and that was working very well. So now let's take a look at the NAS part and what the Ember Pro has to offer in this category. So first of all this device comes with two hard disks. Depending on your model the total capacity is one or two terabyte which is not too massive but definitely sufficient for most use cases. So the device uses the BTRFS file system and in the Ember Pro web interface you can check the health and performance of the device and also of the hard drives. You can view the smart values, do a quick test and it also notifies you when the hard drives are shocked. So if one hard drive fails the Ember Pro will still operate functional and will notify that one hard drive is missing or damaged. You can just easily replace it and automatically 
do a rebuild. So that's pretty nice. The BTRFS file system also gives you the ability to create snapshots within the file system. So that's pretty cool. You can also do automatic scheduled snapshots. So you actually have a really good backup feature built into this whole system. Of course, it also has some other features like shared folders with permission settings. It also has built-in transcoding for pictures and videos and a nice search function. You can also turn on face recognition if you want to do that. But the powerful part is really the integration with the Amper Pro apps on iOS and Android, where you can schedule automatic backups of your camera roll to your Amber Pro and you can also share files and folders with Amber Cloud to other people as well. Overall, it comes with some cool features you would usually expect from a NAS device. But the main interesting part for me, of course, is the ability to run some Docker containers. So let's also take a look at this part and how to do that on the Ember Pro. Note, I need to say that the Ember Pro feature, which allows you to deploy containers on this device, is still in a public beta version. So you first need to enable this feature on the Ember Pro and confirm that you want to be part of the beta testing program. As always with public beta versions, this is not the official release version. Things may be changed or improved within this phase, but overall it looks already pretty stable. I had a few questions to the Ember Pro team regarding the Docker container deployments and gave them a little feedback and the team was very helpful and responsive and addressed all my questions. You can deploy Docker containers via the web UI and it supports most of the common Docker features. You can also deploy Docker Compose YAML files with this feature, which is pretty nice and very comfortable for me. But I think most people will and should just use the newly introduced Amber Pro App Store, which will make things a lot easier. So there you can just select some predefined templates to deploy containers or applications in an easy one-click process. So you don't even need to know anything about Docker to deploy this and I think this feature is really awesome for people who are not IT experts but want to run some applications within their home network or even in a small office environment. You can even make these applications available from public networks with the Ember Access Anywhere feature. So that is acting like a reverse proxy and makes the application available through a reverse tunnel. So you don't need to manage any SSL sorts yourself or forward any ports on your router. It just works. I tested to run some containers like Nextcloud, Pihole and some of the one-click apps from the App Store, but I also could think of deploying a small media server or file server with that, as the Ember Pro allows you to run containers from config files and has a real x86 CPU built inside, you have many many possibilities to use that feature at home. And I'm really excited to see which improvements the team will make on that feature during the beta phase. So you can see this device has some really great features to offer, so thanks Lettuce Work for sending me this device and giving me that opportunity to do a review on this. This was really exciting. But let's also clarify the question whether you should buy this device or not. Well, I would say the main purpose of this device is really a usual home network where you just need a fast Wi-Fi router and you want to have a bit more control over your data. Maybe you don't want to use any public cloud providers like Microsoft's OneDrive or Google Drive, but instead you want to have your data at home and you want to run a private cloud solution with Nextcloud or maybe use other Docker containers or apps at home like a Pi-hole or something like this. This is where the device really fits in very very well. So if you're interested in buying this device you will also find a discount code in the video description below so check it out and I will definitely keep using the Ember Pro at home because I really like the way how it looks on my desk and I just need to run a few app containers at home and really have one reliable network storage for some of my files I want to back up so it's really nice and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials for IT professionals. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye bye.